Alright, hello everyone, it's Chi, and uh, today we're going to be going over the 8 shorts left from the Born Again collection that ended a couple months ago. And so, as some of you probably already know, you know, if you keep up on Instagram, like, all these shorts are one of a kind because they come from vintage um, t-shirts and sweaters. But today I just want to go through, like, you know, the details on what I went through designing these and arranging them and even how I got some of these vintage pieces to turn into shorts. So we're going to start with the Eco Hippies. So... These are one of my favorites. These are, you know, I promised myself I can't buy anything from this collection, so I can't, I can't keep them. But these are one of my favorites. This has a vintage Patagonia shirt and uh, mixed with some other ones. Like there's a, a baby shirt that's mixed in this one, and then like a couple nature theme. So I gathered all the nature theme shirts that I had. I just put it into one little pile and turned it into these shorts. But this one alone is worth like half the value of the shorts. Like it's actually underpriced because of this Patagonia shirt but one detail that I all that I started doing as the collection came to an end is keeping the full shirt on the garment like you know keeping the neckline for the baby shirt because it just like it's cool knowing that it came from shirts but when you see the shirt fully on the garment it just makes it a whole lot cooler so you know there's a lot of details the color palette for this one I was going for like a clay terracotta type of thing and so when I arranged all the swatches, I just made sure that it, it fit well, you know, use the maroon on the pockets and the patches. And as always, hand sewn uh, drawstrings. And I'll overlay some footage of me wearing these shorts too, just so you can see how they look like on body. And the box is really cool also. It's every box, you know, has like details from what went into the garment. And it's also hand drawn with these paint markers. So this very, everything is very handmade when it comes to GQC. And so the next one are the Dates on the Eagles. This one was a collection of like race car themed shirts. And then I thought it was cool, but it needed something different. So I ended up finding this like a, a let like this lightning American Eagle shirt that I thought went well with like the whole Daytona uh, like theme because it's just like American Euro type of thing. And so it's just crazy amounts of Daytona shirts and then got the lightning Eagle on the left. This is the only short. Um, actually, no, this one and the Glorious are the only shorts with the, the patch on the left leg. All the other shorts have it on the right leg, but it just went better on the left leg, so that's what I decided to do. But these ones, definitely cool. Another one of my favorites, all of them are favorite, but another one of my personal favorites is the Love of God shorts. These ones, you know, you'll recognize some design emblems from the upcoming collection, the Love of God collection. But, you know, like the paws, this is like one of the first times I ever put a paw on anything. But I've had this design for a while. And, you know, the signature jellyfish, got that on the back right, on the back left leg with the paw reaching for it. And then also, this is the only garment with the lamb logo. And the lamb logo is the main logo for CQC. The jellyfish is more like the animal or, you know, but the lamb logo is like the unique logo for CQC. And, then, you know, it got the lamb teeth on the back right leg also. But this one was really cool. It's, you know, the color palette came out a lot better than I thought it would. Not that I thought it would look bad, but I didn't know that it would actually come out, you know, looking this cohesive. But yeah, because this one was actually made out of a bunch of scraps. And then, you know, fourth, I'll show the Disney Fiestas. This was about the second or third short in the, in the whole collection. It came out in like, I think, November or December of 2019 because the collection started in 2019 ended in November 2020 But these shorts I'm surprised they're still available. You know, these are all still available from the collection uh, It was a 20 piece collection. So 20 one-of-a-kind shorts only these eight are left, but these You know, it's it's just classic like it's just two Disney shirts and then one non Disney shirt But it's tie-dye with a little fiesta theme on it. So I thought it would go well And then you know, got the red patch on the back of it just to add things onto it and you know these don't have a drawstring the first 10 of the collection had no drawstring because i just didn't learn how to make them properly until like 10 shorts in and i didn't want it to be subpar but yeah really built really good built these are size medium and um yeah the box is fired too all of it i'll show you guys what these i'll show you guys what all these look like on body so so uh, just to interject real quick you know i wanted to add this detail because i get this question a lot if the shorts are thin because it's made out of shirts and they're not. So even though they're made out of shirts, I actually double layer everything. So you see, so you see like this is e like the Eagles, and then on the inside it's black because I actually layer it 
with a thicker shirt under it. So even though the shirt that I, I find may be like really supple, even like some of these can be really thin. Like I'll find like a really heavy, say like Gildan tee, like which is just littered everywhere in Goodwill. So, you know, when I'm, I go to like certain spots to find good ones, but I may go to like a Goodwill just to pick up a bunch of just heavy black shirts or heavy like just white shirts to layer under the shorts so that it gives it some weight. They feel almost as heavy as like sweat shorts because it's because it's double layered and then the sweat shorts are actually lighter than like the t-shirt ones but you know it's it's good just so that they're durable that way and um also the pockets i use like heavier t-shirts for those like i don't use thin t-shirts for the uh, the pocket ones because i've made enough prototypes for myself to know where the weaknesses of of the design can be so i make sure that where it needs it it has the durability and yeah a lot of design went into these but all right back to you know the review back to the, yeah and now these the glorious oh these are all right so i know i said the other ones are my favorite but these are probably like <laughs> my favorite pair from the whole collection like they're just so unique like when you like there's a couple from this collection that just stand out even though everything's uh one of a kind like they all stand out but these and the child's play shorts like just completely stand out from the whole collection and this one was made from uh, a linen shirt and a cotton shirt two button-up shirts and like this really thin uh, like silk kimono type of thing and so I, I made the the body of the shorts and then I you know attached the kimono over over the body and so you still see parts of the uh the blue patch underneath it and you still you see the the flowers from the kimono and like I said before you know the um the patch is on the left leg with this one and this one my so my grandmother's name is Gloria or Miss Gloria um and so I named it after her because I wanted to just I was thinking about it I was like man these look like they just look so awesome and so I just want to name it after my grandma because I love my grandma my granny but yeah I'll show you guys what these look like on body these are just these are fire the glorious and those are so the thing with the glorious they're actually they're listed as a size small but they're actually a size medium but they are non-stretched so I wanted it to be comfortable for whoever got them so yeah they're a size small but technically a size medium but just to be safe i listed it as a size down and, uh, and also just for pre-reference the eco hippies are small the dates on us are medium and um i mean they're large and the love of gods they are a size small and now we have the Kauai islands the most expensive ones from the collection these are the only ones that are an extra large these ones took seven days to make the other ones like the ones i just shown like they took maybe like four four days to make. They all take a couple of days, but these took seven days because it's basically four quilts sewn um, that I had, I had to basically make four quilts before I could even start making the shapes, like cutting the shapes out of the shorts for the leg. And I got these thrifts from um, Crenshaw. So there was, this is Goodwill and Crenshaw where I work with my, uh, my friend Tyreek who does like the sound, the sound design for GQC and a lot of the uh, projects. So I was like, I did a session with him and then I went to like this Goodwill beside him. And for some reason, everything in there was just like amazing. It's like, it's almost like no one ever went in there, but it was so many hoodies and sweaters. And you know, a couple of a couple of those ended up in knee shorts. That was like maybe in 2019 where I found those, but you know, really nice patchwork. Just really good, really simple. You know, Hawaii themed, got the Kauai Island dog on the on the bottom. It, remind, it reminded me of a Keith Aring. That's the main reason why I picked out this red sweater and then you know the drawstrings perfect just perfect good good craftsmanship and now we come to the child's play shorts these ones are the funniest ones you know at the pop-up these I always had these at the front of the rack on the pop-up because everyone like loved these shorts like especially like a lot of like girls like this these shorts obviously because like the floral pattern but it was just just like a cute pair of <laughs> shorts like i mean i would wear these shorts but they're just funny so just like the first one you know i kept the collar on the baby shirt with the little lion's ears and then you know i got something over the front part crotch where the little bear that says i'm awesome and you know i kept the baby shirt on the back too but this these floral pattern that i used here they're actually um one of the, one of, one of these is like a a little girl's like dress. They're both like the same material, but one was like a dress for like maybe like a seven year old, and the other one was just like a basic, just like girl t shirt 
for maybe like a 12 year old or something like just really small pieces so i just took two of them they, i didn't find them together i found one maybe like two months before the other and i was actually going to use them for um, shorts for myself but i uh, after i just ended up collecting all these baby shirts for the collection i just thought they would go perfectly with um these ones i was holding so i just used it in this and it came out super perfect the uh the patch came out really nice too all the all the patches are hand sewn all the gqc logos so yeah this is front and back and now the box for these are fire too i'll show what these look like on body just like all the other ones and now in conclusion come to the jesus pieces <laughs> probably the funniest and uh best pair from the whole collection is it's funny because of the whole the adam and eve thing i didn't even know what this was until um my my uncle told me because my uncle's friend told him he's like yo did you know about what this is um it's a porn company i, I didn't know it was <laughs> i didn't i didn't i just i just saw adam and eve and i was like oh this is like perfect for but i mean it actually worked out even perfectly because it just helps tell the story even better because the bottom says shipwrecked rescued by jesus so what's more shipwrecked than you know that industry so this is a patchwork one of the first i think this was the first patchwork in the collection if i'm not mistaken this was this one came out in if not 2019 early 2020 and it was around like maybe the fifth pair of shorts but yeah these are really good just really good mute cold colors with like splashes of yellow on it but i'll show what these look like on body also but yeah this one the jesus piece one is the first one where i started to get fancy with the box so there's i got a lot of hearts on the box of this one and yeah so that's that's all the shorts that are left in the born again collection you know they're still available i'll put the link um in the description to the website and uh the instagram so you guys can see all of that stuff but yeah this was my first collection um in los angeles and ever you know like i moved out here from north carolina and you know finishing this project was very very important so you know thank you to everyone that bought something from the collection um at any point you know so i'm already moving on to the love of god one but these are still available and they'll be at like the pop-up so i might put them in um, a couple of shops that i've been you know blessed to interact with so yeah i'll just whatever is left to show you i'll just show you guys the boxes at least just to end this video off but take care see you later peace <laughs> How long was that? You want me to start recording?